Hi, welcome to Fitness with Ashley. Today we're going to talk about the myth of being big boned. So we're really going to look at it today and address it from a scientific angle to see, is it possible? Can you really be big boned? Is it a thing? So we're going to look at that today and we're going to look at it from, again, the angle of science and we want to look at it three different ways. So we're going to look at it from the angle of body framing, uh, x-ray scans, things like that, physical evidence that we can use. And then third, we're going to look at forensic studies and what they've found regarding the nature of people's bones. Are they affected by weight? What's the relationship? So we'll dig into that. And then at the end, we'll see how can you find out if you might be big boned? Is that a thing? What does science really have to say? How can you know? So first, we're going to look at the idea of body framing. So of course, we know people are different shapes and sizes, right? Some people might be petite, some people are taller, more model-esque, very slender, or athletic build. Obviously people have different builds. So science does agree that yes, people do have different body frames. There's three different types of body frames. So there's ectomorphs, mesomorphs, and endomorphs. So they're all three different. Usually someone that would describe themselves as being big boned probably fits into the category of being an endomorph. So you can see examples of this with people like Kim Kardashian, the build of Beyonce, where you can see a shoulder to shoulder in this picture. She's standing with Michelle and Kelly and Destiny's child. She's definitely a bit broader than most other women, or at least than those two, for example's sake. So you can see that they're a little bit uh, bigger frame there. So. These are examples of people having different body frames, and of course, yes, you could be an endomorph and you may have a larger body frame. That is a real thing, and science does support it. So the other way we can look at it, of course, if we're scientists and we wanted to find out if people can have larger bones, why not just do an x-ray to find out, right? Very simple, very straightforward approach. So when we're looking at an x-ray of a healthy person or an athletic person and then comparing it with someone that's overweight or obese, what you'll find is that the bones, to the naked eye at least, they look pretty much the same. So you can see in the images here, it's, it's very similar, it's not a huge difference. Um, the third one is through forensic studies. So of course for a forensic scientist who's studying crime scenes and things like that, it's important to see how much you can know from a person's bones, to see if they can get a picture of the sizing of that person, were they petite, small, were they larger, different things that we can discover there. So in their research, what they have found is that there is actually a difference for people that are obese or heavily overweight as compared to people that are of a healthy weight in their bones. What they found was that the femur bone in the leg, like the thigh bone, the upper thigh bone, that one, the femur is actually larger in people that are obese, heavily overweight. Um, they said that because of the gait the person has to take, the way their body moves, typically that bone is actually a little bit larger than it would be on a more petite person or someone that's a very healthy weight. So based off of these three things, we can conclude that yes, you can have larger bones. That's a real thing. Um, there is a correlation between the larger bones and weight, but it is so small. Okay, so of course the forensic study found that if you're obese or overweight, you may have a larger femur bone. But we're talking about a difference of one to three pounds. So it's very minimal. Most research studies won't even tell you how many pounds difference it makes. They just say minimal because it's so low. So it's not really affecting your weight that much. But yes, you can in fact be big boned. And if you want to know if you're big boned, it's a really simple test to find out. You can do it at home. So I have a link down below to the Institute of National Health, which they have a chart from their studies to determine if you have small, medium or large bones. All you really need is a tape measure and you are going to measure the circumference of your wrist. And based off of your height and your gender, you can use the chart below to find out if you have small bones, medium bones, or large bones. So for example, I'm five foot three. So they said for someone like myself, five foot three female to have large bones, I would have to have a circumference of my wrist larger than five and a half to six inches. 
So if that was the case, I would be large boned, but it's obviously not. So I don't fall into that category, but about 15% of people do fall into that category. So maybe you're one. So I recommend definitely click the link below, check the chart. It's something fun to do and to really discover if you are in fact big boned and you have a different body frame than some others, or maybe a medium or small size bone. But either way, it's kind of fun to, to check out and to learn. And we busted the myth today, right? So now we know that yes, some people are big boned. So while you're clicking that link, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe. I look forward to getting you guys some more details and content about weight loss and helping you on your journey.